and you do this correctly, your forearms should be on the bench. Don't need your body against the bench, just your forearms. The bench is going to be at a slight angle. And all she's going to do is kick back straight so her body's going to be in line with her leg. When you do these, the last thing you want to do is hyperextend the leg to go all the way up. Even though you'll see that a lot, it's really bad for the lower back if you do that. So that's why I have her do it with her legs straight like that. And you want to pause at the end, squeeze the glute. Such a long time YouTube. It's been like three weeks since I've done a video. But here I am again. I'm about to show you guys a nice booty and leg routine. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be a lot of hip thrusts, blue isolation workouts, and some workouts that are gonna tie out the leg as well. You know, everything to round the glutes, lift the glutes, grow the glutes, tone the legs, the quads. You ready? Still oh, I like it. your shirt. Hey, what day is it today? Every day is pretty day. What day is it, guys? Can you see it? You guys want to know what it takes to transform this pain she's in. I'm doing that consistently, day in, day out. Even when you don't want to, guys, that's what it takes. You know, this thing right here, it's painful. See your leg kick us using the smoke machine. See how she has her toes pointing up the whole time? That's key. Keeping the heel down, toe pointed up the whole time. How many was that? 12? 12. Oh. Sorry, you got me at the end of this. Kill it. Get that booty to pop. There's one workout that's so beneficial but yet so painful, provides so much. It's this one right here. If you do like three without any weight, you're gonna feel it. You got the whole pet machine, you can imagine the pain she's in. Dude. You're gonna do um, guess how many sets? Three. Guess three. Yeah. Woo. Honestly, guys, this workout right here is really, really painful and really hard. So if you're a beginner, there's no way you're gonna be able to do this. If you're more, it's more like if you're advanced, you know. It's just really, really hard because you, you need a lot of glute strength to begin with, you know. But if you are advanced and you do this, it's normal to feel this without any weight on it. If you do like five, six reps, you can feel it right away. But the goal is to do like 12, 16 reps. So you have to feel it like six reps before you actually stop. And you're going to push past those last extra reps, that pain. You do that consistently, that's when you guys are going to start seeing the progress. All that progress, you know? That's the, that's the reason why you come in here, you know? You want, you're trying to see progress. You don't want to just go in, come in here and go through the motions. And then later on, Notice that you're not seeing any changes because you guys aren't pushing yourself. You guys aren't giving your body a reason to change. You guys want to know a good booty rounding workout? Super simple, but yet yeah, burns so much. This one right here. You notice how her leg is pretty much in line, right? And all her guy is moving now is her leg. What that does, you can feel it right there, this side of the, this part of the glute. You do, I'm having her do 30 reps, three sets, three reps on each side. Guys, it's already um, Friday, one week since New Year, and you guys are already fucked up. Don't put your head down, there's still a long ways to go, you know? And, you know, everybody has someone that tells them what they want to hear, but I'm here to tell you guys what you need to hear. So if you're already messing up, don't put your head down. But you guys gotta take yourself more serious, man. Like nobody's gonna hold your hand and lead you to your goal. You gotta, you gotta mean what you say, man. If you say you're gonna transform this your year, then fucking do it. When you guys do this workout, it's gonna be common that your whole body moves with your leg, you know? But you, what, you, what you wanna do is you wanna keep your body right there and just move your leg out. Don't, don't be moving your body with your leg because a lot of people do that. That's what's gonna cause the burn. It's gonna make it more effective like that. 
Good job, yo. and the glue right here with the donkey kickback using the bench. Um, I like using the bench because it keeps your body more stabilized so it's a little easier because a lot of times if you do it on the ground you're gonna feel that foot that's on the ground. You're gonna, you're gonna feel a lot of pressure on it. So I like doing it with the, with the bench. And if you do this correctly, your forearms should be on the bench. Don't need your body against the bench, it's your forearms. The bench is gonna be at a slight angle. And all she's gonna do is kick back straight so her body's gonna be in line with her leg. When you do these, the last thing you wanna do is hyperextend the leg to go all the way up. Even though you'll see that a lot, it's really bad for the lower back if you do that. So that's why I have her do it with her leg straight like that. And you wanna pause at the end, squeeze the glute. You wanna do like 16 reps when you do this, three sets. Nothing too fancy. Because when you guys are like 40 minutes, 30 minutes into your workout, you're gonna be, it should be normal that you guys feel really tired and you guys wanna stop. But you guys gotta find it within yourself to push yourself because if you really wanna change your body, transform your body, you have to push yourself harder than you ever push yourself. You can't come in here and go through the motions and expect your body to change. Like you really have to push it. That's why so, so many people fail and so many and so few transform because those few are the only ones that were willing to push themselves consistently day in day out and another thing is you can't come in here to the gym three times a week and then next week just show up once like consistency is the biggest thing when it comes to transforming you know you got to do it consistently if you come in three days one week come in three days the next week don't do three days one week and then one day the next week it's, it's gonna be Hard for you guys to see progress like that. So you guys, I'm not here to tell you guys what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you guys what you need to hear. You know, I don't want to baby you guys. You know, you guys are grown, grown people. You guys deserve to know the truth, how it really is inside this gym right here. It's not gonna be rainbows. It's gonna be a lot of sweat and tears. You gotta push yourself to limits you never thought you could get to. The boots, the hamstrings with this. Pulling the dumbbell in front of her. Like far back. When you do a lunge, you always want to go as far back as possible to just get the glute and the hamstring. If you if you guys have your, this back leg too close, you're gonna feel it a lot more in the quad. So you want to make sure you go as far back as possible. There you go. I'm having her do 20 reps on each side and we're gonna do three sets of this. Um, after this, we just got two more workouts I'm gonna have her do, so it's six total workouts this routine. Um, next one's gonna be 21, so it's gonna be for the quads, the inner thighs, the glutes, the, the whole lower body. One more thing I wanna tell you guys about lunge. You see that front foot? It does the, her knees, her knees, don't go past her toe. Behind toes. That's really, really important, guys. I saw. I know a lot of people. Their knee will start to pass their toe, which tends to pick up their heel off the ground. And you never want to do that, especially for a leg work. On those heels, must always be on the ground, except for that back one. That back one, it could be off the ground, but that front one always has to be on the ground. And you feel it around the glutes, the hamstrings. Six workouts today, three sets each, 18 sets total. We're killing it. Uh, Heavy weight, nothing easy. Weight. Man, the King Lot style. Woo. You were a peasant before this. You were a peasant. You were a peasant before you walked in this gym. Once you stepped today. between those doors, boom, that shirt just came on. Hey, um, 21s are right here. So I want you to do seven squats wide, seven regular, and then seven close. We're gonna get the whole legs right here. The glutes, quads, the hamstrings, the inner thighs, everything. Everything. Let's go. Okay. Hey, you're, you got the booty pump today. You still don't know how to flex the glutes like I taught you? You need to practice.
She asked me what today was, and I just like look at my hat. Every day is good. Day. Oh, let's go. I got 40 pounds on her. You need a Smith machine for this. Look, seven squats, wide, wide feet. Her toes, they're pointing out. When her toes are pointing out, what you want to do is you want to make sure the knees, when you go down, the knees go out towards where the toes are pointing. What that does is that it's going to work out the inner thighs right there. Inner thighs. And then when she goes seven, her feet go a little closer. And we're just going to shift the focus onto her quads, her hamstrings, and a little bit of the glute, but it's way more leg dominant right here. Oh, we killing it. We working. There we go. Once the feet go close like that, right? once the feet go in close like that, guys, it's going to shift all the focus on the quads right here. It's going to get all quads. That's why I call these 21s because she's doing 21 reps. Seven, seven, seven. I know how to do math. Let's check up on my other client right here, Sandra. How you doing? How's the workout? It's fucking tough. Damn, look at all that sweat. That's what hard work looks like, huh? That's what hard work looks like right here. This is right here the gym when everyone else is sleeping we're in here fighting for a better healthier life guys this journey is not going to be an easy walk man you see a lot of bumps in the road you go you're going to face a lot of obstacles everyone does it's how you overcome those obstacles which is going to determine your success guys if you want to transform if you want to transform you're not going to get those obstacles get in the way you're going to find a way to overcome them and get to your goals until your hands raised up victorious when everybody else thought you couldn't do it you're gonna be there smiling because you know you proved everyone wrong, including yourself. You know when you guys are tired and you guys got one more, I don't like the lighting in here. When you guys got one more exercise to go and you guys wanna just take it easy, that's when you gotta find it within yourself, man. See what you're made of. Push yourself to new limits. What I got Ashley here doing is a hip thrust, a barbell hip thrust to end the workout, today's workout. Killing off the glute right here. Giving it maximum pump. That's what we want. Alright, look, with the, sit, with the hip to the side. Her legs, you have to form a 90 degree angle. Hip thrust. Her heels have to stay on the ground at all times because that's what pushes off and transfers all the energy to the glute. Her chin tucked in. And just booty pumping right here. Booty pumping. Booty pumping. I told her to do 12, but my ladies know me. That means 16 reps. I tell my clients to do like 12 reps and they end up doing like more, 16 reps. You know, you ladies can't sell yourself short. You're stronger than you think. So you gotta consistently make an effort to get stronger, pull off more reps. You know, stop selling yourself so short. You guys are capable of so much. You don't even know it. I'll do. Her outfit of the day. Hey, come over here. Let's talk about our outfit of the day. Oh, we're we're matching. Yeah. Oh, you gotta do it. Feel like Superman. Alright, I'll see you in two two weeks. Hello, huh? You're going to Georgia for how long? Yeah. For how long? I get back next Saturday. Oh, okay, so I'll see you the Monday, Tuesday after Tuesday, that. Tuesday, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll figure out the next sessions and then maybe Monday. Do you do Mondays? Not mornings. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. I'll text you. Okay. Hey, good job. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's been a long time since I did um posted a YouTube video, but it's just that I, I had so much going on. I just moved into my new apartment. So for those of you who have been following me, or subscribe to my channel for a while now. You know I live like 30 minutes away, but now I moved in like five minutes away from the gym, so it's a lot closer here in Newport Beach. Uh, so I've been moving a lot of stuff. I've been having a lot of online training inquiries, so it's been a w busy, busy week. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to try to upload way more booty workout videos. I know I keep saying that, but oh, I just can't let everything become an excuse. You know, I eventually have to do it. So it starts now.